Good morning, and welcome to Our Lady of Grace. There are a few announcements this morning. The first being is that there is a white Chevy Blazer or white Tahoe in the parking lot with its lights on. They've been on for quite a while, the ushers tell me. Um, secondly, if you have, a, have taken a baby ornament, please return it and, uh, it and your unwrapped gift to Albany's Hall next weekend, July 15th and 16th, before and after all Masses. Please be sure to take a bulletin this morning for further details. Uh, we ask at this time that you please silence or turn off all cell phones and pagers in preparation for Mass. All of our hymns can be found in the Brown Hymnal this morning. Please join in singing hymn number 356, I Heard the Voice of Jesus. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to enter into God's sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to the people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your 
your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, living God, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Our reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion, Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you. A just savior is he, meek and riding on an ass, on a colt, the fall of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be, shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord.
A reading from this letter of Paul to the Romans. <coughs> Brothers and sisters, you were not in the flesh. On the contrary, you were in the spirit. If only the spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the spirit of, of Christ does not belong to him. In this, if the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if, the spirit, but if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs> Most people we know, including ourselves, are carrying heavy burdens, anxieties and fears burden us all. Fears about our economy, the cost of food and fuel, mortgages on our homes, people are unemployed or underemployed, and are looking for a better job that will give them a reliable and adequate source of income. 
People are trying to stretch out paychecks, paychecks that never seem to go quite far enough. Parents are trying to provide for their children, children that are so influenced by all that is immoral and degrading in our culture today. Couples are working on tense marital relationships. Others are waiting for biopsy reports of abnormal cells and filled with fear that they may have cancer. And the list can go on. All of us are laboring under heavy burdens and we've just heard Jesus say to us, come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. How could not anyone be attracted to Jesus' words in today's gospel reading? How could anybody ignore those beautiful words? We must always remember our Catholic faith is not magic. Our triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is not magic. Jesus' life was not painless and totally free of burdens. If we just read the Gospels, we can figure that out. He was the second person of the Blessed Trinity, God himself, but yet his life was not free of burdens because he was both fully human and fully divine. But what Jesus does offer us is this. His invitation to be yoked with him. To walk side by side with him. To pull our burdens and tasks through life with him. Drawing on his strength and letting him help us while we help him carry out his mission as disciples here on earth. It is often said that Jesus' love was unconditional for us, but not quite. Jesus did attach one supreme condition of, on his love for us. In order to receive Jesus' love and be relieved of our burdens, we must love and be concerned about others. And after all, the supreme ethic of our Catholic Christian faith is love. It's love. Love for one another and love for God. In the Gospel of St. John, Jesus commands all of us to love one another, to love one another as I have loved you. when we love and help to remove the burdens from others, then in return, we will receive love and our heavy burdens will be removed from us. Just think of the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do to you. No one has a heavier load to carry than those who are constantly resentful and constantly concerned about themselves. 
Resentfulness is self-centeredness. And Jesus spent no time with such things. Jesus was too concerned with helping others than he was with freeing or fretting about his own problems. A lesson that we all need to learn from Jesus Christ, including myself. Today, Jesus offers us something that can make life essentially beautiful for us all. Come to me, he says. Come to me. All you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. And now, Everything depends upon how open we are to the power and the working of the Holy Spirit and how close we will let God come into our lives. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, God not made, unsubstantial with the Father. For us men and for our salvation, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again from the dead in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess with baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Christ has told us that all who labor and are burdened should come to him. Therefore, let us confidently approach him with our petitions. Our response will be, hear us, O Lord. For all members of the church, may we be open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit and use our gifts to share the gospel with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, us, O Lord. 
for world leaders. May they model the humility of our Savior and seek peace among all nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For those who suffer from chronic illness and for those who care for them, may they turn to the Lord for grace and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For all who are absent from our assembly today, that they may be attuned to the Spirit's call to return to, the com to our community and worship with us. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For all who put themselves in harm's way to defend, protect, and rescue those in need, may God keep them safe and they, as they carry out their duties. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For people who are addicted to drugs or alcohol, that through our steadfast prayers they will seek healing through our loving God, who will help sustain them on the difficult, difficult road to recovery. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For all our faithful departed, including Peter Angelo, may they rest in peace with all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son to live among us and to reveal your great love for us. Hear then the prayers which we offer to you in the most holy name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. As we present our gifts, please join in singing hymn number 192, Like a Shepherd.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world and all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing the closing hymn. Number 324, Christ Be Beside Me. Above me, never to part.